Hi folks, uh, today I want to talk a bit about my relationship with my amazing partner David. When, we, when people meet us, we look pretty much like an ordinary couple, apart from the fact that I'm in a wheelchair. Sometimes people think that David's my carer, um, rather than my partner, but once people get to, get to know us, we just seem like any other couple. That's because we go out, when we're out and about, I go out on my good days so they don't see the bad stuff. What I wanted to talk about today was, and really just dedicate this to, to David, that he is my rock. We've been together for eight years and he has watched me deteriorate in the last couple of years. And now with the situation having got to the severity he is. He is such a patient, honest, giving and kind person. And I don't think I would be able to be facing this surgery without his support. It's, it's hard to know, express what I want to say about it. But one of the things that people don't realise, he is the unsung hero. He is an unassuming person. He's not brash. He doesn't want attention. He doesn't want thanks. He doesn't want people to pat him on the back and say well done to him. Because for him, he's just doing what comes naturally. He's just loving me. But I want people to know how much that he does do for me. And one of the things that he's had to do for me on a number of occasions is that he's had to, to help assist me when my skull has become so unstable it, it basically detaches from my neck. Medically they call it internal decapitation and that's basically what it is, what it sounds like. It's extremely dangerous, it, it often happens if I've had a seizure so I have my neck's moved in ways that it shouldn't be moving and I wouldn't usually move it. Basically, it means that if my skull is not replaced and aligned back on my neck, it could kill me. One millimetre out of place and I could be paralysed from the neck down. And it's something that is such a complex um, issue that even calling paramedics, paramedics come and they will say, what do you want us to do? Because they are not familiar with my personal situation and they know from the background that they do have that one wrong move would be, could be catastrophic. And so it's been left to David. And he has literally had, I've been laid on the floor and he will have my head in his hands and be manipulating and pulling my neck and I'll be guiding him as best I can from what I can feel. And I felt that tremble in his hands as he's done it. And he said, are you sure? Are you sure? And he's held my life in his hands. And that is something that I wouldn't want anyone to have to take that responsibility for. But he has just stepped in and he's, he's done it because he loves me. So when you see David, and yeah, he is just an ordinary guy and I'm just an ordinary girl and we're just an ordinary couple but he's an ordinary guy who does extraordinary things. And I just want to say to you, David, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you more than words can ever say. And to have you with me at my side when I face this surgery, I know that we will come out the other side. And I know that we're going to have so much fun and so much more to come in the future.